Hi! Welcome to the Cloth Diaper Podcast. Today we are doing another unboxing. I know, everything finally arrived at the same time. So back in October, I ordered a couple diapers and then because I got impatient, I ordered some more. Uh, I was just really confused about what these diapers were. They say, to me from Mississauga. And I was like, huh? I didn't order anything from Ontario. So what I got today was my Happy Flute order, which is good because I almost ordered something again. I am ordering cheapies to experience cheapies, to see how they compare to high-end diapers, and maybe give you guys some perspective on whether or not it's worth it and why we should spend money on high-end diapers, if we should spend money on high-end diapers. The uh, male lady woke up ah! Good show. It was a good show. Oh, you want a TV show? This package that I ordered from Happy Flute is primarily fitted. I wanted to see if a cheap fitted cloth diaper is worth worth it um, compared to a higher end diaper. Plus, cheap hemp diapers, that's about as much as I can afford really, like on this non... I don't make any money off this channel right now. So this is the uh, Happy Flute hemp in fitted cloth diaper. It's a one size cloth diaper and it honestly just kind of feels gross. This is the Velour, the Bamboo Velour. And then this is a cotton. Ooh, this kind of does feel like the Sloom. I'm a little bit worried that this one is gonna shrink up like my Sweet Pea did. Oh, it comes with two inserts, a booster. Not bad, not bad. You know what, if this is what you get for like $12, no wonder why main brands have a hard time competing. Cause like, this is not bad. The one thing we don't know is when we're buying Happy Flute, I'm not sure if they have compliancy. So I'm gonna add if they do, if they have any safety testing done on their diapers. So I'll add some links to that if I find it. So we don't know if they're compliant. We're also not 100% sure about their factory conditions and what kind of work experience they do have. So if those are things that are important to you, then buying a cheapie might not be the right. So if you know, I also don't believe bamboo needs to be prepped. At least the high-end stuff that I've experimented with. So let's check out 175 grams unprepped. Now one of the reasons that you need to prep hemp is that it's full of natural oils. Ooh. I'm not sure if you guys can see the beading. I can really feel that this diaper is full of natural oils just from like picking it out of the package. So I'm not even gonna do an absorbency test. But this bamboo one, I am curious. 182 grams. So the small booster, the booster weighs 32 grams. Ooh. This one is definitely bouncing up. I wish, I couldn't seem to get my like camera up. Polar. Yeah, I can't really get this one to absorb anything. It took up only two ounces. All right, this is really funny because I just prepped, I just tried this experiment with some unprepped inserts and um, I didn't get the same reaction. So obviously these bamboo cotton inserts really do need to be prepped. That one absorbed and I didn't, Oh yeah. So the velour one seems to be sucking up some water. Yeah, no, this needs to be washed. Okay, we're gonna get these bad boys washed. I was curious because I have heard that bamboo gets more absorbent and honestly, the stuff that I've experimented with, that was not true. That was bamboo terry and that Knuckles view review is gonna come up. Happy Flute sold a hook and loop and I've been really curious about hook and loop. This diaper, Pretty much looks exactly the same as Thirsty's. Hey, does that look like a Thirsty's diaper? No. It's got a double gusset. Yeah. It's got a pretty nice, thick, sturdy PUL or TPU. It kind of feels like TPU. It doesn't have a tag on it. You know what? Tag? I don't think you're allowed to import things without tags. No tag. No tag. You know what? what? Overall, I'm. this is not bad quality. First impression of the TPU cover is pretty bang on. I, I really like it. 
I, I also it. ordered a Look snap. Oh, interesting. So this only has eight snaps across the top. Most mainstream diapers only have 10. Um, again, it looks very similar. Similar, same quality feel on the PUL TPU. Again, there's no information labels on this. And um, so honestly, I don't know what's in here. Let's take away this order, Anna. Yeah. Always be careful when using scissors around cloth diapers because sometimes people have been known to catch open the diaper. Whoa. This, oh, this is my Anna baby order. So I also ordered Anna baby. These are from AliExpress. Sure. Now, either they sent me the wrong diaper or I made a mistake on ordering. That's one thing that really does happen when you're purchasing cheapies off the internet is sometimes the information field about what you're buying can be very vague and confusing. Mommy. So I ordered the Anna Baby. This is a pocket cloth diaper with a microfiber. This is, this microfiber you can tell is very, very cheap. It's three layers of microfiber size large. It weighs 51 grams. And let's see what happens. I can tell you, even compared to doing the Ellen Font bamboo charcoal inserts, this is not really holding much. Also, why is my water so mucky still? Sopping wet, 8.4 ounces. Let's give it a good squeeze. 5.3 without, and can we squeeze anything else out? There you go. 3.7, fully squished. That's very, very cheap. It's just, and the micro suede feels terrible. This type of reinforced snaps. The stitching on this is, it's not terrible. It's not great. This would definitely be like second quality for most major brands. I say that because there's like big variations. So we're gonna put this on Anna's baby. It's only got one back pocket, which means that you will need to pull out your dirty inserts. Oh, you want the red one? Yeah. So this red one, what did I get? Ooh, this is a cloth diaper cover. Compared to my earlier e.l.f., this PUL TPU feels very thin. And that seems to be the trend right now with anything that I get in a cover is that the PUL and TPU, it feels incredibly thin. The laminate on here is subpar. And I can bet that if this, if this had a fully saturated diaper on it, it would leak. Remember how in my Ellen Font video I said, oh, those seams, you better make sure that you um, throw it in the dryer. Same here. Got the fully saturated insert in there and I'm squeezing it and I wanted to see if it would get, if it would soak through and I'm immediately getting leaks along the elastics. And so we'll toss this in the dryer and then we'll try. The laminate is seeming to hold up but I could see that it would be very sensitive to any nicks. It's got a back elastic here. It does have a double gusset and fold over elastics. So this in some ways is similar to the design of the, I would say Nuggles. But I think that at Nuggles, she does a much better job on the gusset design. I'm also, I'm not sold on the elastic. See, this fold over double elastic is similar to Thirsty's and truthfully, I don't think this does anything. Part of the reason that you want a double gusset is that you do want this inner gusset to have that strength and this gusset is nothing because you want this gusset to fit in the leg crease so that it can provide the bulk that you need and this would sit in the leg crease and this would provide an extra width but this is your strong elastic. So you're gonna put that in your leg crease because that's the elastic that's actually gonna hold stuff in. And then this just becomes extra fluff and you might as well just cut that out. I actually don't even know why you would bother. I can just honestly, this PUL feels better. So sometimes even different fabric textiles get a different experience. Ooh, we've got a curl there. And it's got a nice big front pocket. So if you like to use a cover almost like a pocket diaper, this is not a bad choice. 
and I added an insert. I've totally forgotten. Ooh, this looks like a hemp insert. And I've got two. Do you want to cut one open? How about we just wash them and we'll cut them open on the last one. It's one layer soft and one layer rough. It weighs 65 grams. So 65 grams of material is what you're getting. You know what? Grams might not be important, but it might also. Thank you so much for joining me today on my first impressions of these diapers. I hope that gives you some insight, some truthful, honest insight from a cloth diaper addict like myself about some of the products out there. Um, yeah, I'm happy about the Happy Flute that I've received. I'm not happy about the Anan baby products. And we'll see more. There's a couple more first impressions videos and other cheapies in the comments below. And if there's something you want to know more about, just drop me a comment and I will work on it. We will have more to come this year. Thanks for joining me. Bye.